now I'm going to show you how I uh, use WAMP on a Amazon Web Services E2 EC2 server. Um, first, what I did, um, I launched the Amazon EC2. I'm using um, <coughs> um, the console.aws and it gave me a uh, password to log into my uh, remote um, desktop. I downloaded the remote desktop file. Um, this is my remote desktop right here. So before I did anything, um, I went ahead and went to the uh, Apache side. <coughs> went to Apache went to config and I had to change the uh, HTTPD dot uh, config file which you'll see here um, I had to change the config file because the um, it gave me an error 403 forbidden access so what I had to do was come down well I had to make sure that whatever port it was listening to that I accepted it through the uh, firewall and um, you can see here I created HTTP file to allow access to um, port 80 and you see it's listening on port 80 so after I did the firewall I came down and I had to change this from deny from all to deny from none because it wasn't allowing access to uh, outside sources. Okay, and after I changed the HTTPD file, um, according to the assignment, I had to display a dynamic date, dynamic time. So I use this um, simple uh, PHP uh, code. Um, I just displayed that uh, my name is the data jackson and this is the instance of Amazon EC2 using WAMP. Um, the date is um, PHP echo date. I put the date. I use the uh, date function to uh, display the uh, day, the time, and uh, well, the date, the time, and the day. And uh, it actually matters if this M is lowercase or not because if it's uppercase and it'll show the uh, full month and then if it's uh, lowercase it'll just show one uh, number of the month and it's for hours minutes and seconds for the time and the day I just put an L there just a simple code um, before I put it in the index.php file it was um, this was what was in the um, index that PHP but according to the assignment I had to display the time and day and uh, information about the server so if you go here this is the um, public IP address for my uh, server and you go to my browser you click that IP well you click out of here go. let's go ahead and go to that there it's loading yeah so then you can see exactly what I put in my index.php file it displays here it tells you the uh, exact date and it tells you the time and it tells you the day today is actually Sunday night um, and it is after eight o'clock, and it is the 25th of October. Um, I changed. I realized when I opened my um, virtual server in the remote desktop connection that my time zone was off. So I changed the time zone here. Um, I changed the time zone here, and it has the correct time there, but it did not. Um, yeah, like it displays the correct time here. But for some reason, it didn't grab uh, that time, but it's about four hours fast, um, I believe. So I'm not really sure um, 
how that ended up happening but yeah it does um it is dynamic and uh it uh displays the date and time and day just four hours fast um, so if you go here if you use the uh, actual address instead of the ip address it um does the same thing you can use that Yeah, and it should go there as well. Yep. So I'm gonna put the uh, link to um, my uh, server to show that it's running. I'm gonna put that link on um, in the uh, description box below. So you see here. And another thing I had to do was um, allow port 80. So I had to add a. Um, a security um, a security uh, protocol in order to uh, access that port and um, I just went to uh, my uh, AWS server security groups came here added it here and now um, you see I did TCP port 80 um, because that's the port that I'm using to access <coughs> my server so this is actually an outside desktop outside of the remote desktop connection so this is I mean this is an outside web browser and then you have the remote desktop connection so this actually works in um, both of inside my instance and outside my instance all right so just to talk about some of the few some of the what act what Amazon EC2 server is used for is um it's basically a virtual server um that's used by uh, netflix expedia samsung nokia adobe for space for square i mean comcast nasa yelp and the list um goes on and on and on um and it's just used to uh create or to launch a server that you can create um web pages on and you know and you can also, it also has dynamic storage um, as well and uh, different things of that nature. And one thing I forgot to mention before I wrap up is I used um, WAMP, which is a Windows instance of Apache, um, MySQL, and uh, PHP. And it is installed here on my uh, server. So I installed WAMP on my actual server. Yep. And I use an older version of uh, WAMP server, 2.2. I think 2.5 is out right now, just because it was easier for me to uh, put the uh, code in. And um, yeah, so I could just start my server. And um, yeah, that's uh, basically uh, uh, WAMP. Um, well, it's a Amazon EC2 instance using. Um, WAMP. Thank you.